able to spread your knowledge across the astral plane for all those wise enough to accept it. No, not astral knowledge, you simpleton. Psychic domination! And that still won't be possible until you destroy Desmond's jamming device! No need to worry, enlightened one. We shall reconsecrate the mansion and remove the impurities disrupting your perfect guidance. Yes, fine. Go destroy the house and its impurities. Just stop that jammer and I'll be free of you morons once and for all. Yes, we shall be free of all limitations. Thank you, Master. We shall be the instrument of your mighty will. Escape to the mind. Hello? You are... A fellow seeker of the higher planes, perhaps? What brings you here? I may be the man who leads our physical affairs, but I cannot claim true wisdom. I take my orders from a higher master. Whether it be how to explore higher planes, or the decision to remove the disruptive ghoul, all wisdom comes from the transcendent master. It is very rare that others are permitted to commune with the Master. Many are too foolish to understand the great truths of his higher mind. But I sense in you a great potential. Perhaps you have what is needed to accept his teachings and grow from his wisdom. He manifests here, high on a ledge in the great sea cave's well. Seek him out, and all shall be revealed. Yes. Commune with him, while I see to my tribe. There is much to be done. Yes, fellow seeker? Yes. Yeah. So you're the mouse that was scurrying around here? Not much to look at, but at least you're not drooling all over yourself. I can work with that. Now then, perhaps you can be more useful than that simpering spiritualist and his tribe of idiots. At the moment, they've been no use at all, but I have very few options. They can't even seem to remove a single ghoul from a house. More than you could possibly imagine with your squishy pink mind. But the only pressing matter at the moment is a device in his possession. He has a jammer that limits my projection range to this pathetic cave. Remove that, and I can extend my reach so much further. Killing Desmond would be a nice plus, but I'm sure we can get around to that later. Yes, away with you! I knew it. I knew that little bastard was behind all this. After all these years, he stuck his head out, and this is my chance to cut it off. Figuratively speaking, of course. Of course I fucking want you to do something else. You don't expect me to trot around this mud hole myself, do you? Shall we? 
So, those halfwits are getting messages from the professor, right? So he's off somewhere, broadcasting to him. But without those buggers to do things for him, he can't do much for himself. So, we cut off his ability to talk to him, and he'll need to try harder. Maybe then I can find this squishy little worm and finish him off for good. If I know the professor, he's using a high-frequency cognitive sign broadcast. I have the perfect device to jam up that little worm's talk box. All you need to do is take it to the highest point around and install it. Easy, right? Right. Attach it to the bottom car, then turn it on and spin the jammer to the top. No fucking problem. I'll watch from here and turn it on. Then we'll see where our little professor is. Now, go! It is I, Professor Calvert. Don't bother looking around. I'm in your mind. But aren't you Desmond's faithful little employee? Coming to gum up my work, are we? Well, I have a better idea. How about instead of playing his game, you destroy that nasty little device? Deposit it in the nearby trash compactor and we will never have to worry about it again. I assure you that the gratitude of Professor Calvert is worth a great deal more than that of a washed-up old limey. You fool! What have you done? You will pay for this! Pay! No one betrays me! Do you understand? Uh. You will suffer for this! You will... Ghoul... Oh, pay! Coming for... You... Bastard. He killed my pups. Nearly killed me. For what? He doesn't have the body to fucking do it himself, so he tried to blow me up. Me? 
Well, this ends today. Desmond Lockhart will finally win out. I know where he is. He overplayed his hand this time. You and me are going to walk in there and end this. The lighthouse. He's got a lab under there, the little fuck. Right under my nose the whole time. I found it when he boosted his signal to try to get through the jamming, when he sent those tribals to kill my poor pups. He's down there, hiding behind robots and machines, sucking life. Pathetic. He dies now. I suggest you hurry your pretty self up. I'm sure the bastard's got some sort of escape plan. <laughs> <laughs>